think the important thing to know is having experienced not being happy or not feeling like I can have a superpower or not feeling like I can excel, having experienced that, because um, I haven't always viewed life the way I view it now, I think that what I want people to know is if you're honestly thinking there's no way you'll ever experience that, I want you to know that I know you're wrong. You just need to keep doing it. You just need to be patient and you just need to find you. Something will come up that you didn't see that will help you do it. I just want you to know that I haven't always been where I am today in terms of my own well-being and happiness. In fact, I, I could say I've been to the opposite extreme of times. I guess what I'm saying is I want you to know what I learned, which is there's more in every one of us. In school, I was I was average. I was an average student. I had B, B minus, a couple of C plus kind of grades. Every once in a while, I'd have a spurt where it was like, you know, calculus, for example, or um, complex math. A couple of unusual areas where, and I I say unusual in that most people, the average in the class might be a C minus, but in those places, I seem to do really well. Uh, which I thought was a curious exception, but in everything in everything else, I was I was an average student plodding through my degree, seeing all these other people who got you know hundreds on exams, knowing I would never do that, convinced to lead an average career. So when I was a student, I thought the way of life is get your C minus or B plus average, go out and find some mediocre job. Uh, make enough to buy your house and <laughs> there's your life. <laughs> Near the end of my university life, I started to realize I'm not just an average person. I have some superhuman powers. It was this year of transformation. So I did my master's and during that year where I did my thesis, I started working out more. So I lost 48 pounds during that year. I wrote my thesis, I successfully defended my thesis, so that's number one accomplishment. My Doing my master's in engineering was one of the best experiences of my life. My mindset completely and fundamentally changed when I realized there might be, there might be a million things I'm average at, and I'm actually okay with that, but there's one thing I'm really, really good at. It's, it's like a superpower. And I know I have it, I just need to go find it.